Whether you're a weekend warrior or an Olympic semi-finalist, running technique makes a real difference to both overall efficiency and an ability to avoid injury. The ABC has run an experiment in which the styles of a recreational runner and an Olympic runner were compared and analysed. And the results might make you rethink how you pound the pavement. Aaron Beach is the biomechanist from the New South Wales Institute of Sport who worked with the runners and he joins me now. Thank you so much for coming in. There's a lot of interest about this great feature on the ABC News website today and maybe it's because a lot of us do run, fancy ourselves as being able to uh, pound out a few kilometres or whatever, yeah. but are we all doing it wrong? Um, well, that's the interesting thing with the human body. We can do things in a number of ways. We're quite, a, quite adaptable. So um, ne not necessarily just doing something means you're doing it right. So there are a few key things that we can look at to hopefully improve someone's efficiency. But obviously with an elite athlete, we're trying to get them to that very, very edge of performance. Because I suppose it is something that most of us just seem to take for granted. We learn how to crawl, we learn how to walk and then running follows on from that. But what are the things, if we want to improve our technique, that we should think about? Um, so obviously injury risk is, is one of the big ones for, for a regular person because they want to be able to do that day to day continually without having any sort of setback. So we're looking at the amount of force that's going through the legs, um, the, the overall posture to make sure you're not unnecessarily using muscles you don't want to be using and overstraining them. Um, so a few key things we can look at is the, the contact position of your foot on the ground, how much what we call ground reaction forces are that come through the leg, um, and just that overall lean of the body forward from the hips. And so if we're talking about the feet, quite often runners will talk about heel versus, what should I say? Uh, Which four strike? foot strike. Four foot strike. Yeah. Is, is there a better way? There's no right or wrong answer, um, particularly when you look at the, the recent efforts breaking the world record for the marathon. In that lead pack, you had a few that were heel strikers and a few that were four foot. So obviously, if they're able to run a marathon at, at, at a quick pace at heel striking, it's obviously not that bad. But obviously, we have to understand that there's other mechanics through the body that have to adapt to that particular heel strike pattern. So everyone needs to understand that the body is this big chain and we have to make sure we adapt to some characteristics that we're using. And so for anyone watching who might not have the benefit of technology that you might use with professional athletes, such as I believe the motion capture technology, which just is able to really see how they run and how their body moves during that um, running sequence, what should people be considering while they are making their own uh, strides in the morning? Um, well, phone technology is really good right now. Um, the, the frame rates you can achieve on a phone camera are almost similar to what we use on this motion capture system. So it's really important when someone wants to first assess themselves running that they do it with a video camera so they're not doing it based on that intrinsic um, feedback, they're doing it from that external feedback. Um, so on a treadmill, just put a camera on the side or behind you just to look at that foot strike pattern and look at what's happening with the, the rock and roll of your body as we call it and that lean forward of the body. Um, and then when you're making changes, make sure you're, you're repeatedly videoing yourself so you know that the changes you're making are actually happening and they're not going too far in the other direction and impacting you that way. Some great advice. Aaron Beach, thank you for coming in. And to anyone that hasn't already seen the feature on the ABC News website, I'm just going to tell you to go there this afternoon. It is really great. Thanks. Thank you.